Hello, welcome to another episode of FMOD in 2 Minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today we're talking about LFOs. LFOs stand for Low Frequency Oscillator. It's a really cool feature that allows us to control some, you know, add some more randomness to whatever effects we add inside of FMOD, which I'm going to show you with this example. I have a simple breathing loop here in FMOD. <sighs> which is not attached to any parameter, let's say, but I don't want it to loop exactly the same way every single time. I want to create a little bit more variation and extend the life of this one piece of audio without having to do uh, to add any more audio files. So let's see. So what I'm going to do is right click on the volume knob here and add modulation. And I'm going to go down to LFO. Down here at the bottom, the LFO window opens up. What we're basically going to do is set how much volume we want to change and the rate at which it changes as it plays over time. I'll explain what that means with a really quick example. If I turn the rate up all the way to something ridiculous and I'll put the depth up also something ridiculous and I hit play. You can see the orange dot is moving at a crazy amount showing you how much the LFO is affecting the volume. We don't want something this extreme, we want something very subtle. So I'm going to turn the rate down to something really, really slow. And I'm going to put the depth down to, I don't know, something like 7 dB, for instance. And then if I hit play, we notice a very subtle difference, right? It's now dropping in volume a lot slower, something that feels more natural. If I drop this right out of volume, maybe like 15 or 20 dB, it, it means that every time it loops, the volume will go in and out at a different part, hopefully, of this audio file, thus making it feel a little bit more natural. The next example I'm going to show you is with music. I have this track here that I want to give a wobbly effect to. So I'm going to click on the master. I've added a flanger to it. And I've um, then attached an LFO to the rate of the flanger. This time I'm going to set it to a lot quicker because I want it to wobble. I want it to go up and down really quickly. And I'll set the depth to something like, I don't know, 20, 30 percent, something like that. Cool. The next thing I'm going to do is attach it to a parameter. I've called it wobble. It's just a very simple continuous parameter from zero to one. And I think I'm going to attach the parameter to the mix down here. So I'm going to just right click and add automation. And then here I'm going to add curve and select my parameter, which is wobble. And then at zero, I want the mix to be completely dry. And at one, I want it to be completely wet. Um, and this is what it sounds like. Cool. So there you have it. Another example of how you can attach this LFO to pretty much any plugin and to any parameter within the plugin and create some really interesting live processing to your events.